Yeah, she's really amazing. She has a movie that opened up just today. It's called Back on the Strip. I got to see the premiere of this movie, and it's so amazingly funny. Except it triggered a trauma for me. There's a scene in this movie where an incredibly embarrassing thing happened to one of the characters on a stage. And you guys know, right, like public speaking, people are much more afraid of public speaking than they are of death. <laughs> death. And I had a horribly embarrassing thing happen on a stage. And I was watching this movie, laughing my ass off, and then this thing happened. And I was traumatized the rest of the movie. And I know, because by the way, the, the TV show that I'm doing is about psychotherapy. I'm actually a trained, licensed psychotherapist. And I know, <laughs> clap for that, shit. <laughs> You're looking at a black man with a master's degree, clap, damn it. So I know one of the best ways to work through trauma is to talk about it. So um, can, we, can we like be close just for tonight? Like you don't have to give a shit who I am after tonight, but just for tonight, <laughs> let's be close because I want to talk to y'all about my trauma. This is a true story. This absolutely happened. I'm going to tell y'all the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to me on a stage. So in my professional career, I was doing a keynote at a conference. There's about 5,000 people at this conference. And I'm standing on the stage spewing brilliance to people telling them how to have better mental health, talking about the books that I've written, absolute brilliance. And then you ever have that feeling, I don't know how to describe it other than like the bubbles in your guts, <laughs> and you have to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> so I'm on the stage and I'm spewing brilliance and I'm walking around giving everybody mad game about mental health, and then boom, boom, boom. And I gotta go to the bathroom right now. So I said to the audience, about 5,000 people, let's take a 10 minute break. <laughs> True story, I swear to you, I'm not making a word of this up. This happened on a massive conference stage in Oklahoma City. Let's take a 10 minute break. And I said, sure, and I run to the bathroom. You guys remember that scene in Dumb and Dumber where the dude was, <laughs> his like feet are in the air, you know? That was me, that was me going hard in the bathroom. So, and it was one of those trips. You ever go to the bathroom so bad, like, you need to shower when you're done? Like, wiping ain't enough? <laughs> so, <laughs> I really got, like, I got to take care of myself. So, I'm sitting, man, and I'm wiping myself, wiping myself, wiping myself. And I realize this ain't going to be enough. <laughs> so, I swear to God, this is what I did. So, I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, and I'm sitting there wiping myself, wiping myself, wiping myself. And I turn around, because I get to get like a good wipe. <laughs> what I don't notice, I can't believe I'm telling you all this, but we close now, right? Y'all promise, we close. <laughs> I turn around, and I'm like, oh, I got to like way get a good wipe. And I turn, and somehow the stall of the bathroom door has swung open. And there are about a hundred dudes in the bathroom staring at me, <laughs> wiping my ass. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do in that circumstance? Like people, you can learn how to be a public speaker and you can go to Toastmasters, you can do like a TED talk course. How do you put your dignity back together and stand up in front of a stage, in front of 5,000 people? And going to see back on the strip made me think of that damn moment. Because you know, the hilarious moment that happened in the movie, it's like funny you can make a movie about it. I never thought <laughs> that I would ever talk about that horrible, awful moment ever until right now. And now y'all know my traumatic moment. And now you know the most important lesson of mental health. If you go through something difficult, talk about it. So thank y'all for making me feel better about the time I damn near shit myself on a stage.